Hi guys, today we are going to crochet this bucket hat. I hope you will enjoy this uh, tutorial experiment because it was first time for me to crochet this easy and super beautiful bucket hat that I wanted to crochet since long ago but I had no time and no appropriate yarn. I really had no yarn so I decided to use the my crochet bag that uh, you can find on my YouTube channel so you can crochet the back and you can crochet the hat I really needed something with a circle so that bag already had a circle and uh, I did some mistakes meanwhile crocheting this hat and I showed in the video so basically when I started the video I had a circle that has diameter of 20 centimeters but that was wrong. I needed just 18 for my head size. So later, because it's super fast to crochet this hat, I undo and I made 18 centimeters. So the hat was not big because first I thought I need oversized hat, but it was too big. It was just go away from my head. But this one is 18 centimeters in diameter and it's very, very, very good size for me. So basically you can use it, you can crochet longer like this, but I had no idea that crochet hats are so easy. I was using Barbante cotton yarn and three millimeter crochet hook, but you can use any yarn actually. The main idea is that first you need to crochet a circle, a sphere, then without increase and then some increase rows that in the video I tell you exactly how many rows of increase and no increase I crochet and uh, that's it I use cotton of course when I find raffia I want to try with raffia because it will be much lighter and uh, good for summertime but even cotton actually I didn't expect that it keeps shape so well and actually I love it so uh, you can use, as I told you, any yarn and any hook size. The main idea here is that you, you must have the multiple of 6, 8 or 10, then no increase for around 7 centimeters. Sorry for my sound noise. And then some increases here. If you had multiple of 6, you make six single crochet and then increase rows. If you had eight, eight and then increase. On, on the video, I will tell you exactly. So it doesn't matter which circle you have. And I have many videos where I show you how to crochet the circle. So let's get started. So guys, I want to show you how much I already undo and uh, you can see that it was a big bag now I just need this circle that I will use as a base for my bucket hat and the bag was the same like this one in another color I already have many of these bags they are very practical so if you need a bag watch the tutorial of this one they are really really nice so they can fit a lot of items and they are perfect summer bags that you can carry even like that i think it's very beautiful but this one i want to make a bucket hat so all i need is just a circle here i until i arrive to the circle that will be 20 centimeter i will stop to undo so i will show you after I will be done with the circle. So I have finally finished to undo and I have around 20 centimeter circle. That's good for the head size around 54, 56, also depending on the yarn. So if your head circumference is around 56, 54, it will be good size for you. So basically to find out what uh, size of circle you must crochet, you can just measure on your head and that there are about uh, two centimeters. 
bigger than you need and you can also check with many charts online if you need for kid size or whatever size you want to so uh, you can crochet the circle as you wish to as you saw I used the bag so the bag already had this base and I started with eight single crochet then I made increase in each stitch I had 16 then I make one single crochet increase and I got 24 and so on and so forth. Uh, actually, you can use a Migurumi circle like of six, starting with six single crochet or with eight or with 10. The main idea, you must have a circle at the end and I will have around 20. If you had a small size, you can even have 18 centimeters. That, but I want also a bit oversized, so it will be uh, good for many sides. So you can uh, crochet a circle first. You can watch on my tutorial how to make a perfect circle. And if you see my increase go like this, it doesn't matter, your increase can go anyways. You can place the main idea, you must have a circle. So that's very easy. And it's important to learn to crochet a circle because you can make many different bags, different projects, and of course the hat. So now after I stop to undo, I have this circle and I'm going to place the marker so I know where is my new beginning because right now we are going to crochet let's call the body of the head and we will have no increase just to crochet around seven centimeters without increase without seam because I don't want any slip stitches I will just crochet all around until I have approximately seven centimeters just one single crochet in each stitch without stop until you crochet around seven centimeters. So go on like this. So I already crochet a few rows and I wanted to show you how the hat is started to grow. And now it looks like a big plate, a big ball. So you can see that the same pattern you can use to crochet some ball or whatever you want. And I have here around four, so I will crochet around seven, eight centimeters. I think that will be enough. So I have crochet for a few rows and now I will show you. My head is approximately seven centimeters. So when you have like this one, it means that uh, the hat is ready to start the brim so we continue and you can try and see if it's good size if you think it's too straight or too tight you can redo and make it bigger at this point that's good size for me so I continue so now as I show you I have seven centimeters and I'm going to place the marker because we start the rows with an increase. So basically I have increase after each eight stitches. If you have uh, a circle pattern with six single crochet plus six plus six, so you will make an increase after six. I have eight, so I do after I have eight. So we continue this pattern. I have to make now eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm going to make an increase.
and then again 8 and then an increase to single crochet into the same stitch and all around until the, uh, the next row and the next two rows we are going to crochet without an increase just two rows of the same number of stitches no increase so here I have four five six seven eight and then an increase so continue until the end of this row and then crochet two more rows without an increase so now I have crochet one row of increase after each eight stitches now two rows without increase and I'm going to crochet another row of increase so I will have increase after nine stitches and then I will crochet two more rows without increase and then we start increase row again so just continue with an increase after uh, nine stitches if you had eight stitches circle if you had six you have to make an increase after seven stitches so i wanted to say that right now your brim is going to be bigger and bigger and uh, after you made one row of increase and two rows of uh, just one single crochet you can continue to make one row increase one row uh, no increase and see how long you want it to be you can customize it and adjust to your size I recommend just one row increase one row no increase then one row increase one row no increase so in total four more rows and your hat will be done so my hat is practically done I want to just crochet one more row without increase uh, later I show you how it looks like so um, I'm going to change the color of the yarn because I want to have another color edge to try. So I'm going to insert the brown color basically before finishing I will have two loops and I insert the third so right now I can put this yarn on top to weave it and simply one single crochet all around the hat without increase and then the hat is done just continue like this so that's it for today that's how my bucket hat looks after one row of brown color I really love it I'm sure I will crochet more bucket hats because they are super fun fast to make and they are really handy you can use them you can use different types of yarn I'm sure I can find raffia to use for this hat it will be very awesome I hope you enjoyed this video I tried to give you as many tips as I could so uh, if you crochet one of these please tag me on instagram or other social media and i would love to see if you crochet something like this thank you for watching see you again